enhancing security through surveillance, one of the modes of enhancing security in our premises. Today, I'll be taking you through installation of a four-channel analog CCTV system. And in this case, you're seeing the screens are live, all the cameras doing the adjusting. So I'll be taking you through the components you need, how to install a DVR, a hard disk in a DVR, how to install cameras into the adapter box. What we are lucky here is just the cable enclosures because we are doing our mounts on the table. But remember, the same system applies even when you are doing it on the premise. Other than just you need to consider installation standards and ensuring that the, the conduits run or the trunking runs are in place. So let's start with what we need. We need a 4-channel DVR, that's what's seen here. You need a hard disk, you need a power supply module, you need uh, four cameras, you need uh, cables, you need a monitoring screen. So let's start with uh, our DVR. We are going to install a hard disk in place. In this case, I'm using a, a Western purple hard disk and uh, we are installing in place. We are screwing there. It has its position. Once you're done with it, uh, it's just common sense, just get your things and install. Then use the interface cables for the hard disk to install it in place. Uh, that's the only way you connect now the DVR motherboard to the hard disk for conversion of the footage. Remember the DVR does the conversion of footage from analog to digital and then for the storage. So the other one is for, for the one for storage and uh, retrieval as that, as you can see. The other one is for conversion. So we, once we are done with that, it's just to close our cover and then uh, our DVR has now a hard disk in place. That's simple. Yeah. If it was a problem, just ensure that you close for you zoom closely to see the order of the cable, especially the one with the conversion. You make sure that the yellow one is the one that is starting at the end. Then we have plugged in our mouse for configuration and the adapter for powering. Now let's go to the camera side. Remember the first step of uh, CCTV, the second step of the CCTV installation is to mount the camera. So in this case, for analog system, we'll need uh, an RG59 cable, one that comes with the power supply mounted on it, power supply cable. And we also need the accessories like the BNC male connector. Remember the camera cas comes with a female connector on it. So in this case, this is the male connector you're seeing. I've inserted the boot and the insulator. And now inserting the BNC mail connect itself, as you can see there. It has two terminals, the one for the conductor, the bioconductor, and the other one for the seat. So the seat has a clip, a clip-like thing, like a crocodile clip. So that the one that uh, should lock the seat together. It's not good to pair the seat. So ensure that the bare conductor enters the, the hole and then it's screwed together. And then ensure that there's also a little insulation for the bare conductor before you lock in the seat that's what we're doing here then once you're done with that uh, clip it together and uh, move the the insulator on top the insulator cover and then the booth and then we lock and by doing that our bnc mail connector has been locked to the casual cable that's where now it will be locked i'm just doing the demonstration remember we're going to do it inside the adapter box and the same now the other side power supply we need a camera dc adapter connector the one you've seen fit there and then the positive will take my red cable and the negative will take my black cable now do all these arrangement inside an adapter box an adapter box is a white uh, box you're seeing there sometimes we call it a junction box so it ensures that all our terminations are well fixed inside and they're also not visible and also makes the, the appearance of our installation look good, aesthetic in, my, in nature. So that's why we are placing everything in place. And I will, uh, I will ask you to be careful and see how I'm going to insert. I usually insert the, the final uh, termination in uh, diagonal to ensure that we don't bend, especially our, we don't bend our BNC or our adapter interfering the signal. So I'm using the diagonal and you can see it is fitting in very well. Then you close the lid. Remember the lid is uh, watertight, waterproof I mean. So the moment you're doing it is so good. So I'm going to lock it. That's the adapter box. So in most cases what you usually see in buildings when you're walking around is the, the adapter box and the camera beside it. Uh, when you're doing back entry, they usually will not see the cables. And even if you're using the cable run, usually the cables are in in conduits or in trunking or that so 
So I've done the same for all the four cameras. Remember I've said we are going to use four cameras uh, for the sake of time. I didn't want the video to be that long. So the other side of the cameras, we'll also need a BNC mail connector for the DVR and as well uh, the, the other power, power supply cable. The, live, uh, the, the positive and uh, negative will go to the power supply. Remember the, the cameras are fed with the DC uh, supply component. That's the DC voltage and DC current. That's why the power supply is there. The power supply will receive the AC power, but let there, uh, you'll give out the 12 volt DC uh, voltage for the cameras. So we are going to do the same. So first we are going to repeat the same procedure, ensure the BNC connector is fixed on the coaxial cable. If you miss the first step, we insert the booth, as you can see, and ensure also the other clip for that we call the insulator clip is also inserted. And then the other part is just to insert now the BNC mail connect in place. Remember the seat goes with the clip, with the clip crocodile clip like icon. And then the bear conductor enters the hole and then you screw it together to ensure that it gives a tight grip. And then from there you return everything in place and uh, your BNC connector, mail connector is in place. Just like that. You do it for all the four cameras. You plug them in the DVR input and uh, by doing that you ensure that also the alignment of the of the cable like you'll see in the DVR has been written channel one like this is a four channel so you'll see one two three four so uh, let's say if the camera if the kitchen is close to the sitting room and you are doing the indoor ensure that the kitchen if kitchen is channel one then the sitting room becomes channel two and uh, ensures that uh, when you're following it's so easy you can see someone moving from the kitchen to the sitting room to the bedroom in that manner if you are to do that or if it's a backyard then from the gate all that ensure that you're following so the other cables are going to the supply and in this case we have a, a two output supply uh, so for the two output supply we have four cameras so we are going to use uh, two cameras for each output so that's what you're doing so two red wires for the positive on one output the other uh, for the other output and then we're going to knock it together remember the power supply receives ac power and in this case we're going to use a, a two core cable we don't have a three core cable for the for the other thing too and then we are going to install it together and in that case we'll have installed our power supply in place so what are we left to do what we are left to do is now to power on the dvr to power on the monitoring device to power on the supply the power supply module and then uh, to configure in this case our dvr has already been configured but uh, in the next video maybe i'll show you how to configure a new dvr uh, for this case i was using this dvr to teach other trainees here and that's why i'm saying it's already configured but uh, all the steps are installation steps so the configuring part is just easy, it's just the same way as when you buy your new phone, what you need to, to do, setting the language, setting the country, and the time, and the date, and all that. So that one will be taking you through. So in this case, we are powering everything. The extension was to increase the number of uh, ports. In this case, I've powered it on. You'll see my power supply indicating green, meaning it's on. Yes, that one, it's on. So meaning all the cameras should be live as well. My DVR is on. And now it's time to connect the DVR to the monitoring device. In this case, I'm using the HDMI cable. And the moment I lock it to the DVR, you will see the screen change from blue. And now it brings in the DVR reading. And the DVR will give the four partition because it's a four channel. And the four partition, if all the cameras have been connected correctly, all the cameras will fill the four partition as been uh, planned. That's the four partition, as you can see. And once I place, okay, all my cameras are on. Hold. So by doing that, we have done the right thing. We have ensured that all our cameras are well connected and terminated, and also the termination hidden in the connector box, as you can see. And we can now adjust our cameras to get the feed that we deserve, assuming to avoid glare, to avoid obstruction. Sometimes you have locked it maybe upside down. You can also tilt it to give you the right view angle that you needed. And then from there, I think that's all you need for today. I'm been your trainer, trainer Lux. I do it for love. Please share this content with the people that need it. Our engineers out there are looking for knowledge. 
please share wide and uh, if you're your first one please hit on the subscribe or follow on this channel and then from there you can also view the playlist on youtube just search at trainer Looks, and then you can view all the feeds that you need if you are looking for security system just go on the videos go for uh, security system playlist you'll see every video the notes you need the practical views like this and many more uh, i think uh, that's all for today thank you for your time share comment what you need me to do next time thank you see you next time